Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. It is Francesco here. Welcome to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. If you are brand new and if you're a regular, Welcome back. So what we'll be doing today is talking a little bit about switching applications and how easy and how hard that can be, giving you a few tips on this subject. Now, again, I said this is gonna be a short video, but this video was actually inspired by Jonas Herte. I really apologize if I got the pronunciation wrong. He tweeted uh, talking about, about whether it was tedious to switch applications and what the best practice was around that. So I thought I would uh, answer his question with a video. So just before we get started, make sure to join the Facebook group as well. We've got over a thousand members in the Key Productive community. It'd be great to have you. So make sure you join up in the description below. So the first sort of approach that I think will be helpful with switching productivity apps is making sure you understand if the switch is right. Uh, if you're confident you've made the decision that all of the features match up to what you need it to, and you think that it's gonna be a viable investment of your time to make the switch, then that's okay. I totally understand if you want to move applications, if you feel you, you will be more productive or more comfortable in an application or resource that suits you better, that is absolutely fine. But the first thing to do is make sure you're on that level. If you're balancing between you're not sure or you are sure, then definitely take a free trial with the resource you're planning to go with or ask the company themselves whether they have some sort of free trial, three day trial, five day trial that you can give and try out. Now, all you have to do there is just use a, use a resource, try and understand it. And you can watch a few videos and resources around it to make sure that you understand whether it's right for you. The second approach is once you're happy and you're more confident and you're like, okay, I'm going to move to this resource, is check whether they have an importer or exporter. Now the resource you're moving away from will most likely have an export tool. If they have an export tool, that is great. Uh, the other resource might have an import tool, but if you can just skip to the import tool, that can be very beneficial dependent on the resource. So for example, if you are moving from Evernote to OneNote, for example, uh, OneNote actually have an Evernote importer, which will help transfer all of your notes over to uh, OneNote, which is very helpful. And there are other resources that do that. So for example, Wunderlist have one. So Wunderlist, um, sorry, uh, Todoist have a Wunderlist importer. So when you're moving from Wunderlist over to Todoist, it's really easy to make the switch. And there are tons of other resources uh, that can be done and can do that. For example, project managers can do that as well. I know that Zenkit have a Trello importer. So all of these resources can be very helpful. But just one thing to note on an importer, is they might and can potentially get the data and the information a little skew, mainly because you're moving from a resource that has different settings, different data sets and things like that. Transporting it over to another one can be sometimes a little bit tedious. You might have a few miss data imports to the resource that you're going to. So just make sure you're comfortable with the importer and how it works before you make that move. The third stage of it is making sure that you can manually transfer all of the information uh, or data. So for example, let's say you're moving to a new task manager. Um, what I recommend is to manually over a week or two weeks to use both resources at the same time, but slowly whittle away one of them and start using the other one. So you want to start turning that one off while you're turning that one on so that you have a full manual transfer and you don't necessarily lose any tasks or any useful projects or the new resource doesn't misinterpret any of the new tasks. This can be a great practice, whether it is that seven to, seven to 14 day period or a full month, that's absolutely fine. Just whatever you're comfortable with. This is something that I will do when I move laptops. So for example, I'll probably keep hold of this laptop a week or two longer so that I can make sure I transferred everything over to the new laptop and it provides me with the same experience that this one does. So making sure that you do do that full manual transfer can be very beneficial. So guys, those were the three steps. Number one, make sure you are confident and comfortable with the decision to move. You need to be sure that this is the right move because it's like moving house. It's a big move, it's a big transfer of all of your data. Number two, you need to make sure to check out for an importer or an exporter to the resources that you are going to. And number three, make sure you are confident, make sure you're sure with a manual transfer. Don't necessarily delete your account straight away on the other service because you might not have transferred every last detail. 
So guys, I hope that was useful in terms of transferring or switching to a new productivity application. Hope it gave a lot of good advice, um, but let me know in the description below or in the comments below what your advice is on switching a resource. If you have recently switched one, what were some of the tactics that you used? It'd be really great to hear. Pop them in the comments below. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it as always. Uh, it's really great to have you. Um, if you haven't yet checked out the Unproductive Weekly Vlog, it'd be great to have you check that one out. I'd really love your thoughts on it. It's pretty brand new, but it is a documentation uh, of my week and unproductive habits. I thought you might like that. So do check it out. It's a month trial, so do, feel, do go out and comment on it. It'd be great to have your feedback. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to have a great week. Keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.